Hi, I am Elysia White here to talk about map files. I am the oh. don't read everything. Mostly look at the left side. <laughs> If you have trouble remembering that, well, look at a higher address and it will make more sense. I wish I hadn't said that. Uh, but it uses a lot more of the system, including interfacing with BLE and Zigbee. Everybody's waiting for you. Why the, ah, oh, damn it. Trying to show an example initializer. You can't do that. Like when you write to null, which in the system I was showing before was zero, zero. Of course null is zero, zero. Of course null is zero, zero. What else would null be? You know, we can start over, and between each slide, I can spin around so that it's easier to... Never mind. Where the code was when things went wrong, and by searching directly for the addresses... Oh, crap. Slide 24, take 10. I guess as long as we're going to do this one, we might as well do it right. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it this time. I'm going to power through. Stuttering, I'll just go. Flash can have wait states. Your processor can get faster, and your fat flash 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 flash. It's going to take the start of. Uh, it's going to take the start. It's going to do something and say something uh, and e zero zero long. That's about five thousand bytes. I should have tried to wing it. Thank you. Particular processor or uh, have exp Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and now you know what to look for as you <laughs> And now you know what to look for as you cross the memory configuration mountains and scale the Summary Valley. I hope I've given you another tool to make embedded systems a little easier to develop. If you'd like to contact me, there's a contact link on embedded.fm or on logicalelegance.com, my consulting company.